It's here! It's here, it's here! So I'm very excited today because as a photographer, as a filmmaker, I own a lot of cameras, but one thing I've never done in my life is build a camera from scratch, which is what we are going to do today. So just roll the credits and let's get into it because this may take a very long time. What's up everybody? My name is Sawyer Hartman. If you're new to the channel, hi, I make films, vlogs, videos about film and photography, and today, my first DIY video ever. But it's not just some stupid DIY video. I'm actually building a film camera today. I am building a Lomography SLR analog film camera from scratch. Now I'm very excited. I saw this online the other day. I saw someone trying to build it. It took them two days, even though the company says it can be done in an hour to two hours. So without further ado, I've got three cameras recording right now. I have no clue how long this is gonna take or if I have enough memory cards, but let's just jump into it. This is called the Constructor. It's a 35 millimeter SLR film camera made by Lomography. And uh, let's open it up and see what we've gotten ourselves into. Wow, wow, what a presentation. I mean, dead honest, this looks pretty doable. I don't think this is gonna take me more than an hour tops. Okay, the instruction booklet is 47 pages. Constructor, here's the book, the instructions, page one. Oh great, they're in Swedish. All right, now they're in Chinese. Where's the American? Looks like the first thing we're gonna be building is the lens system, or the actual lens itself, which I'm guessing, uh-oh. Oh, it's literally all in the plastic. Okay, so we're looking for B16 and B18. This is what I was missing. These are very unclear instructions in case you were wondering. Oh my God, little screws have gone everywhere. Okay, so I looked at the instructions and it basically said you gotta stop being such an old man about this and just kind of go with it. There is a great chance this will not work at all, but it if we're not gonna put it together. Level one, the lens. I'm gonna take this guy right here and I'm gonna put this there. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fully send it here. I'm not sure if this is right, but don't go flying. All right, this is the actual little lens prism thing. I think this is gonna go here. I don't understand, dude. It doesn't line up. It doesn't line up. I'm not freaking this stupid. All right, it lined up. I hate when that happens. Oh my God. If this works, this is gonna be the coolest thing in the world. I'm like 30, 20, 30 minutes into freaking building this. Doesn't look or feel right, but I'm just gonna say, we've got the lens built, people. Moving on, hood and viewfinder. Where is A12? A12 is here. This also seems like one of those things that if I break one piece, all of a, I'm gonna be screwed for life. Boom, yes, son! Okay, it's in. So now we got the viewfinder and the lens done. Let's move on to the body. There's the body like that. This gotta be that big spring. Oh, I think we're making the trigger button. We are making the trigger button, that's what this is. Well, wow, there's a lot. Once you've tightened screw P2, gear P9 must still rotate freely. P1 drops into B4, and then I'm gonna stick this little S2 gear along with one of these little screws, I think, right here on this knob where it makes no sense. Okay, oh yeah, okay, okay. Can you see that? That's, that's what I'm dealing with right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this page because I don't know what's going on. All right, I don't know if that was the right screw, but it went in. Um, now we're gonna move on to the light chamber, which I think is the sensor. It's this little box here, which I actually find to be very cool. Whoa, okay, it clicked in. Um, it clicked in and I am as shocked as everyone else for sure. I gotta say, when this is done, and it will be done, I am going to be so proud of the photos I took on this little piece of crap $40 camera because I've never gone through this much trouble ever with a camera. I found Angelique's tweezers, so I'm gonna give this a go. I broke it. I'm trying to recoil a spring with uh, these, please bear with me. This is probably one of the top five most frustrating things I've ever done in my life. I think building a million subscribers on YouTube might have been a little easier than this. Oh, got it, yes, m Whew, sorry for my language. I feel very accomplished for getting the screw on the hook. 
This is one of those gifts you'd buy your little cousin that you don't really like. He's gonna be so frustrated that it's gonna be so worth it. We got past it though, guys. We got past it. That is a major win for the human race right there. We've gotten past it. Oh my God, I missed a step. Oh my God. Oh my God, I have to go all the way back and take the... Oh my God. I missed a step and it was right before that spring thing. You remember that one? Okay, so I'm back up to speed with the camera build. I think the reason that it's been so confusing is one, they're not in English. The, there's only like, the only thing that's in English says like front cover or rewind key. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I have the majority of the inside of the camera built. Like we haven't even been putting the camera together. We've just been assembling the inside of the camera. So moving on to now what they call the camera. Everything else was other parts. Looks like it's gonna be the little, ooh, we're on the barn door for the film. That's actually really kind of exciting. I'm gonna start nerding out here really soon. Here's the body, there's the back of the body, the viewfinders, the sensor. Let's see, what does the next page have in store? Then next, it looks like we're gonna take the inside of the camera and we are going to attach that to the frame there. So that is the image sensor right there. Um, it looks like it's scratched. So then this is gonna sit in there. And then the front of the camera, while wow, we're already at the front of the camera, we might be getting close to the end, y'all. I feel like I'm about to snap this camera in half trying to put the show on. I'm not. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes! Lock that side and put the screws in on this side. Oh, wow, guys, this is actually happening. I have about 30 screws left over, which doesn't seem like it's the best uh, possible outcome. All right, and this is actually sealing up the camera's body, so that must mean that nothing else is going on inside. There's a lot of holes for screws on the inside that I did not pay attention to because the instructions didn't tell me to. Just smile and say yes. I'm just like, sorry, if if I'm being super negative, it's because this is taking, I'm, I'm on an hour and a half now, kind of creeping up on two hours. And I'm a little, I'm a little butt hurt because I did 100% fully believe that I was going to be the one. Like I was going to be the special camera maker. Like this was only going to take me 20 minutes. All right, got those screws in, moving on. So now officially guys, this body, the camera body is assembled, moving on. Rewind key, that's this guy I built before. It's gonna go down in there. Is it actually supposed to snap in? Okay, snapped in. Oh my God, does that actually? Okay, that rolls the film back. We're making progress. Looks like it's an actual prism. Hmm. Where does this go? It's so important. Where does this go? All right, now apparently I have to take, this is the top part of the viewfinder. And then this little box is supposed to, yeah, go right down in there. All right, now that the viewfinder bracket is back in place, we'll take the viewfinder and slide it in right on top. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. Now that that's in place, bro, we're on the last page. Put the lens on, okay. So the lens here, guessing like a normal lens. Finish installing and taking lens onto camera. That's it, that's all it says. Oh, bro, you're killing me. Look at all the screws I have left. They might not have told me where things go, but that doesn't mean I can't guess until I get it right. All right, I'm standing because I think it's done. Um, I, I, it's literally put together exactly how the book told me. Um, I can't see anything when I look through it, which I don't think is a great sign. Um, but let's just keep going and I missed a step about six steps back. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'm really excited. All right, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. So this has to go on first, right? Just like that. And then this locks into place and then I move the <gasps> Oh, that was so satisfying. I can see through it. All right, hold on, I'm gonna screw this in. Guys, it's working. We are at the home stretch and I think all this is actually freaking worth it. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll just say it is what it is. Let's get some film and just try this out. Place the film roll in the film chamber. 
Dude, if this works, I'm going to freak out like for real. Put a roll of Ektar 100 in there and lock it down. Holy crap. Pull the blank end of the film to take up the spool slot so that the teeth can catch the film. So it's just like normal camera. I'm gonna pull the film across the sensor. I'm gonna tuck the film. That might be it, here we go. Film door closed. I have no idea if this is working, but let's try it. So I apparently go there. And then I find focus on what I'm trying to take a picture of. And, and just like that, we have built a film camera, ladies and gentlemen. Well guys, there you have it. This is the Lomography Constructor. It's a $37 DIY film camera, and I'm very confident that it's actually working now. I've got the viewfinder working where you pick it up, you pop the top, you pull out the flags, you even have a little focusing screen. But I've already loaded the film in this camera and to use it, you're gonna cock back this lever. Now, just like an old Hasselblad or top viewing film camera, everything is reversed. So when you're looking in the viewfinder, if you move the camera left, the image will actually go right. Because you're looking through a mirror, everything is actually reversed. And then when it's imprinted onto film, it goes back to normal. So it doesn't seem focusing on this camera is gonna be a really huge deal considering it's like a, a solid F11 aperture throughout. It's just set at that within the camera. But the film is firing over and the film return, which is this winder right here, I can hear it clicking over and it's actually going an entire frame. So this camera is now in perfect working order. I'm going to shoot on this camera for the week. If you would like to see the photos that come off of this camera, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Sawyer Hartman. I'll be posting them on my story all week as well as probably updating you in a future vlog of what they looked like. But guys, that is it. It took me one hour and 57 minutes. Now the box says this build takes roughly one to two hours, which I think is complete and utter horse shit. This would probably have taken someone who wasn't worrying about memory cards or just finishing the video maybe three to seven hours and multiple times sitting because it's very confusing. The instructions aren't in English. They're confusing as all hell and well, that's about it. It, it, you don't know what you're doing. But an hour and 57 minutes and only $37 out of your pocket is actually like a great deal to have a film camera of your own if having a camera has just been something you couldn't have done until now. I can't vouch for how the pictures look, but it's a camera. It's a fully working camera and that's all you need to capture moments. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below if you'll be trying this or any other photography, video, film, related videos you'd like to see me do, leave it in the comments. I read them all the time and I'll be choosing new ones to make videos for. But I love you guys very much. Stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop creating. I sure hope that took. <laughs> Peace, guys. Oh.